So if you were walking into a portrait gallery uh, around the world, if you were quite observant, you might notice something about the people in the portraits. And that is that the way the people face in the portraits isn't random. People do have a tendency in portraits to face toward the left side of the canvas. There was a survey a few decades ago where a few art historians went into galleries in Europe and North America and they looked at portraits. So if the position of your face was totally random, you'd expect to have about a third of the people facing forward, a third facing to the right, and a third facing to the left. But what they found is that roughly 60% of the people face toward the left. And they found that there was an even stronger bias among women. A couple scholars looked recently at depictions of Jesus on the cross, and they found that over 90% had Jesus facing left. You can even see this bias in high school yearbook photos in that most people naturally just tend to turn toward the left side. You would think there would be some reason for this to happen. So people do tend to think that the left half of their face is the better half. They think it's more attractive, more expressive. So we kind of have a natural tendency to turn that side towards someone when we're talking with them. The best explanation is that we don't view the left and right halves of people's faces in the exact same way. People actually have a tendency to be more expressive with one half of the face than the other half because our brains don't quite work the same way on the left side and the right side. So the left half of the brain controls language, especially as its big function, its big specialty. The right half of the brain tends to deal with spatial things, so reading maps, reading faces, and it's also dominant for emotions. But the right brain also controls the left side of the body. So the left side of your face is generally more expressive. I think the real reason I find it fascinating is that it's almost like you're let in on a secret about day-to-day -day communication, like you found something out about the way communication works. And you know, all of us have had thousands, hundreds of thousands of conversations, and you would think that people would notice these things if we did have a strong tendency to turn toward the left. We think we're aware of most of what we're doing, and it's a little disconcerting to see these little ticks and these things emerge suddenly, and we realize that, oh, maybe we're not as aware of ourselves as we thought.